Here we go, here we go. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, I was born to motivate you to not just be an ordinary person, man, but to be an extraordinary person, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys are doing well today because, hey, you're back up again listening to your boy, man. So I'm really excited about that. So with Fortnite Season 4, the loot pool has changed a ton. Epic brought back some oldies for a taste of nostalgia while also introducing some scary new items. And of course, new items means we've got some new loadouts to play with. Hope you're excited about that. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing six of the most powerful and effective loadouts guaranteed to help you win more games in Season 4. For the most part, I'm going to be covering what's new, but of course, older loadouts can just be just as viable. We actually did another loadouts last season, but this one is going to focus more on viability since they added a ton of our favorite weapons back. So stay tuned because we're going to be showing you some cool ways to use the loadouts to gain a huge advantage. But for the question of the day, what is your favorite item that's new in season four? Let me know know in the comments down below and one thing for sure all right you got to visit us at proguys.com for access to courses from top pros exclusive live classes and uh you know one-on-one -on -one professional coaching if getting better at Fortnite is your goal, like whose goal is that? To get better. I hope it is, man, because we're here at Pro Guides like to make that happen and to save you a ton of time in the process. So check us out in the description below, man, and make sure to connect with me on my show, Your Motivation Show, happening every Friday, PST, man. So check out my shows. They're all in the archives at ProGuys.com or on the Pro Guides app. Man, it's really, really changing lives, man. So I want to see you there every Friday, 12 p.m. PST. If you can't make it, it's still up there. So check it out. All right, bunch of crunch army. <laughs> Yo, where are you at? Come on, bunch of crunch army. Where are you at? Here we go. It's about that time. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Come on, say it with me. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, guys, so get into this thing. We've got Pump Revolver Loadout. For this one, your ideal finish loadout should look like this. A regular assault rifle, pump shoddy, revolver, and two healing items such as minis, big pots, or chug splashes. All right, so why a pump and revolver? Well, both weapons fire at similar rates. You can just seamlessly swap back and forth with the two in between shots. This allows you to burst for some big damage if done right, man. So if you can land a revolver shot on your opponent's dome, the two times headshot multiplier can deal severe damage. And it's surprisingly accurate as well. Even while hip firing so no you don't need to aim down sights with it and for why a regular ar well you need something you can spray with right i mean you could use an lmg or an smg instead but an ar is the most well-rounded of the three and it gives you extra range power as well but overall my friends this one's an excellent loadout some are even comparing it to the old double pump meta honestly it's pretty darn close yeah i just said the word darn it's actually one of my favorite words as you already know but unfortunately it's a lot harder to acquire because for some reason revolvers barely drop your best bet guys is to really just hit up the pleasant ball <laughs> but other than that you're just gonna have to just hope that you can find one The next loadout is a lot easier to acquire, man, and it's centered around the Stark Industries energy rifle. Of course, it consists of an energy rifle, but also a pump shoddy, shockwave grenades, and two healing items, preferably minis and chuck splashers. Stark's energy rifle is easily one of the best weapons this season, and personally, my favorite so far is just so incredibly useful and, you know, really acts as a hybrid between AR and an infantry rifle, which is fantastic because you don't really need to carry more than two weapons to be incredibly dominant in all types of situations. Situations. I mean, the hip fire, while slower than AR, still does severe damage and can be used as a swap weapon after firing your pump. And for your long range needs, you can just aim down sights for a super powerful shot that can do over 50 damage for a body shot. But that 50 damage is only if you have epic or higher rarity, which you should always try to get. It increases the damage just enough so that you can require one less shot to finish off opponents in most situations. I know that if you eliminate the Stark robots, they only drop the blue version, but you can upgrade those as well or find purple or gold ones out of supply drones. Overall, man, like this one's an invaluable loadout, guys, because it provides effectiveness at all ranges, plus mobility and double heals. Definitely run this one anytime you get the chance. Now, if you're looking for something more on, you know, that gives you free kills kind of thing, 
you should try this boogie bomb loadout right here, okay? Run an AR of your choice, charge shotgun, tactical SMG, boogie bombs, and minis. If you can land a boogie bomb, your next shot is almost guaranteed to hit. That's why we chose the charge shotgun. A full charge to head from a blue or higher rarity deals 200 damage. And if you hit their body, no worries. <laughs> the charge still does massive damage. So you can just quickly swap to your SMG and just finish them off. All right, you just gotta do your best to be sneaky with the boogie bombs, man. The approach is often the toughest part because if your opponent sees you coming, they're gonna block your boogie bomb with builds. So the sneaker you are, the better. And that's not all, guys. Like, throw boogies at vehicles, and everyone inside will be forced to jump out and just start to dance. While this won't work against the best players, it could get you a kill or two in pubs or low-rated games. On a side note, I will say this. Another way to counter boogies is with crash pads, since apparently you could just spam jump and just crash pad away even while dancing. All that being said, mobility is still an issue with this kid, but if you can get a frag before the late game, drop the SMG, and just pick up some mobility like shockwaves or peppers, I mean, why not drop the boogie bombs? Well, they're actually very beneficial for impact frags during end games. Players aren't expecting it and often open up their boxes where you can just toss them inside and just follow with the kill. Overall, I love me some boogie bombs and this loadout works wonders with them. All right, coming up are a few more unique and amazing loadouts, including two mythic ones that you need to know. But first, a reminder that pro guys can analyze your vibes, man, and deliver you a detailed analysis in under 24 hours. It's crazy. You can focus your grind on the areas that you need to work on, man. You gotta check this out proguys.com today all right next is the lmg loadout which ideally consists of a scoped ar pump shotty lmg crash pads and some shields and look i'm gonna be real like we're shocked that epic unvaulted the lmg this thing is a beast bro like it's like a pre-nerf drum gun but this time with 100 bullets and at a 25 damage per shot, and it shreds through builds and players like butter. And since you really don't really need any more spraying power, the scope AR is there to give you some consistent damage at longer distances. However, if you're not the biggest fan of the scope AR, both the AUG or bolt action sniper can work as well. For mobility, we're carrying crash pads over shockwaves, just for the fact that they're also fantastic for exploding into boxes, which is what you want when you're holding this type of weapon. Unfortunately, the LMG is hard to find, only a couple of ways to really get it. One spot that guarantees epic LMGs is the vault in Pleasant. Two guards stand there and are always strapped with them, but just be warned that Dr. Doom can spawn there too. The other way you can get them is out of these unlocked henchmen chests. As for where those are, hmm, let me tell you every location real quick. All right, there's one on a hill east of Misty Meadows, one in the broken house by Pleasant, two southeast of Sweaty, one hidden in a bush south of Slurpee, and finally one at the Fancy View House. Any of these can drop a blue LMG, which is honestly just as strong as the Epic version. Overall, the LMG and this loadout is an absolute monster. Do not sleep on this. All right, next up, let's go to a mythic loadout centered around Dr. Doom's gauntlets. You're gonna be running that alongside an AR, pump, shields, and floppers. And while it's not, you know, the best loadout for solo players, I get it. Doom's gauntlets are pretty ridiculous in team modes. With the high damage to builds and infinite ammo, you can just sit back, relax, <laughs> and get some of that bunch of crunch, yeah. But you can also sit back in a box and just spam enemies' builds while your teammates push in. There's also an air boost that you can just use to position in fights and prevent fall damage. But other than that, man, these gloves aren't the most potent thing in solos. The damage to players just isn't high enough to justify spamming it over and over, especially when you're out in the open but if you take it slow and you treat it more as utility it's still worth carrying because one thing to excel at is fishing notice how the loadout consists of floppers all right that's because once you get them you should go look for some fishing spots one shot with these bad boys and you're gonna get all the fish items no rod required all right the rivers outside of pleasant have plenty of spots that you should just have no issue getting a full stack of floppers after getting the gauntlets Anyways, man, like, not much else to say about this one. Try it out and just let me know how your game goes. Lastly, let's look at a Silver Surfer loadout. We're going to be using his board along with an AR, pump, shockwaves, and minis. And this loadout is solely focused on survivability, all right? We've got triple utility, two of which are mobility, to help you guys stay alive as long as possible. But even with that, you can still be a bit aggressive. If you can spot an enemy while gliding, remember that you can use the item again to counsel your flight. 
So, similar to how the Shockwave Launcher was used last season, you could just swoop in from above, and the players below you will likely be none the wiser. Okay, so as for Shockwave Grenades, you can Shockwave into the air and combo with the board to go really, really far. A single combo can take you over 200 meters away, which is pretty much rotating to the full 50-50 zone in one go. I guess the only downside is that, you know, you move kind of slow while gliding with the board, which means you might get beamed. But again, you can always cancel it and just drop down. Overall, the surfboard is one of the best mobility items in the game right now. I mean, it's really hard to get, but if you find it, whew, definitely give it a try in this loadout. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. That's it for the loadouts, my friends. Hope you guys found them helpful. If you did, slap a like on the video, click that sub button, and uh, you know, if you have a loadout you really, really like, share it in the comments or even on our community pages. We've got a booming Discord and Reddit page open for everybody where you know you can receive tips find teammates suggest videos and so much more man it's so really cool to see check them out in the description and feel free to join keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going